Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of G uh, Generation I Can't Talk, obviously. So, first off I'm going to show you a little bit uh, of how this world looks now because I changed it. Uh, the park is now got a new look, uh, the gym I changed and I'm losing my voice. Uh, the bar I changed and the museum. I couldn't find uh, the uh, library that worked yet, but I'll look more into that. So let's zoom in, I suppose. Yeah, let's just say we're going to build. We are actually not going to build uh, anything. So hopefully this won't take too long. Um. So this is kind of overview of how it looks. I just really liked it. It looks really gorgeous, well made, really pretty. Um, they have a swimming pool. They have I thought there were more. Uh, yeah, they have um basement that took me some time. Uh, where you have your work equipment, some toilets, and some fun stuff you can do. And they have, yeah, they that's pretty much what they have. I don't believe there's more to this. So this is really gorgeous, well made, and I'll be linking descriptions in the comment of who made the different kind of stuff, but I believe it was Yes, it's called Crystal Flower Gym and is made by Got Kitty Mimi. And I'll be linking that in the description, so if you want to download these particular lots, you can. And let's go back, and hopefully this won't take too long. And we got a new loading screen, which is very pretty. And let's go see the bar. And I just wanted to change the lots a little bit, so we have a kind of different type to visit. So this is the bar, it's really gorgeous, well made, a lot of beautiful flowers, seating areas, uh, very kitchen bar, so you can get some food, you can get some drinks, and you have a seating area here, and out in the back, oops, There's some flowers and some different benches, so you can go outside and sit if you want. And in the top there's some more seating areas, and yeah, that's basically it. And some menus if you want to order some food, which is super cute. So this is how this one looks like, and it's made by... Um... It's called Cute Little Vintage Bar and is made by Tina Freedy or something. I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong, I probably will anyway. Just because I'm terrible at it. So that's this building, I will obviously link the description for that one in the as well. So if you want to you can download it, but obviously that's up to you. And we are using too much time. Yes, obviously I like cupcakes, why do you ask? And this is the museum. It's very interesting when you first go inside, but I really like it. It's super gorgeous. I obviously like all the flowers and you actually can if you want to paint yourself. Why do I keep picking stuff up? Probably because I kind of pressed it. And you have a toilet, which is very nice if you go into the library and have to use the toilet. So this is a different kind of library and I really liked it because it kind of looked like a museum and I really think that's super cute. This is um, called Art Museum and is made by Ghoul underscore F 
Rio or something. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible at reading names. And yeah, if you want to download it, I will be linking it in the description or the person who made it and what it's called. And last but not least, our beautiful park. No, wrong button. Yes, I know, I know. And this is our park. I downloaded it because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's super cute. Very kid friendly, which I really enjoyed. I love the colorings they have used inside this room, in this little kitchen area. So if you are hungry, you can do that in this little maze area where you can go and just have some fun. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is swimming pool pools or ponds, but that's obviously something we can figure out. Playground area for the kids. Obviously the toilets are super useful. And some play s instruments. Uh, uh, some guitars. This one I can't really remember. Uh, music. Some park benches where you can sit down and relax. Um, I really like this lot because there's uh, actually a lot of kids toys around and obviously a bunch of beautiful trees. So the kids actually have something to do because I feel like in most lots there's really little for kids to do except for playing on the monkey bar. Which is okay, but I like to see my cute kids have some stuff to do. So this is probably more for the adults, where they can sit and relax, while watch some TV, get some drinks, play some piano if they feel like that. And this is where you can make some cupcakes, get some uh, different kind of uh, decorations, and obviously we... <laughs> um, yeah, and this is more kids area again. And I really absolutely love it. And yeah. And this is the top where it's more like mirrors where you can change if you want to uh, or look at yourself I guess. And a toilet which is always useful. And a uh, tower at the top which is always nice. And this is how it looks and it looks like a castle which I really enjoyed. Oops. Oh. Oh. I, I assume that's just... Yeah. So this is how that looks like. It's super super cute and I obviously made sure to get a name. So this is Mini Time amuse Amusement Park. Can't even talk. And it's made by... Yeah, uh, okay. No. <laughs> I'm sorry but I can't pronounce your name. I'll link it in the description so you guys can figure it out by yourself. So that's the new lots I've been placing. I'll see if I can find some other lots later. So let's start this place and I haven't picked anything for the guys to inherit yet so I'll just quickly do that as well. And maybe I'll adopt a child, I'm not sure. Not yet though. We aren't even started, so adopting is probably not our first option and we probably need some more money before we start even having kids. So what do we want to give you that uh, our kids can inherit if we, we have boys? Okay, I just need you to take the shirt off for a second now, which is obviously not a bad thing. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Can't. Um. Ooh, I love that. That's gorgeous. Let's go with this one because I really like this one and obviously for there you need to use your 
Get your shirt back on. Here you go. So now we have something for the boys to inherit the, his jewelry. And I think that's nice. And I downloaded some new stuff for the... Uh, at least the girls. I couldn't find that much stuff I liked for the boys yet because I'm kind of picky. But I found, uh, I believe... The hairstyle was the one I was really interested in if I downloaded it. Yes, this one. And I absolutely adore this hairstyle. It's super gorgeous and really fun. But obviously she won't be using that one because she's... This one this suits her. But I really want to use that if we get a girl. I really want to have a little bit of a rebellious lady. Because I, I usually make like super girly girls and I feel like it could be fun to have something else. What are you doing, sweetheart? You are reading a children's book, I believe. Okay, you're already preparing, I see. Are you all... I need to sort this skin out because it's glitching out, which is annoying me because it's so cute. And they seem to get along pretty nicely. And... Uh, maybe we should go and visit some park, or maybe not the bar, because it's kind of early to go to the bar. Woo her in or something, okay. You read that, sweetheart. Um, let's go. Just uh, travel somewhere, because it's kind of going to get a little bit boring just watching them read all the time. Um, travel with Nick, and let's see where we. Yes, I'm assuming you are coming. You have no choice. Um, the library is obviously the same. Uh, I don't know how quickly people will get there. So let's. Excuse me. Let's go to the. Jim. I hope I picked that one because <laughs> I know it's news. And see if we can g meet some new people, if there are people here, or just to explore the world. Yes, and there's. Well, uh. Well, I got uh, taking a swim. Which is obviously nice. Are there some more people down here? Yes, we have some more people, which is great. So let's go down here and introduce ourselves to some more people because it's nice to have some more people to invite when they're getting married. Which is obviously it's friendly introduction, friendly introduction. Just get to know people. Just to get from friends and obviously have some more people to invite to our wedding when we eventually get married. And let's get to know some more people for you as well. And she is a snob, which is always fun. Let's introduce yourself to this guy as well. And why don't you, sweetie? Where did you go? Oh. Why do you look nude? <laughs> That's kinda... Awkward. Okay, let's introduce yourself. I'm sorry, Bella, I didn't mean to probably press there. I don't like that your hair is glitching out when you're swimming. But I kinda is what 
Oh, that's right. I gave you this bathing suit. That's kind of a little bit cute. Just so we have um, more people to get to know. Because I feel like it will be a boring episode if we didn't do anything. Uh, compliment. Yeah, just do a bunch of friendly interactions and it's nice. And she is such a cute sim. <laughs> Everyone seems to be more interested in having to swim and actually working out that much. Even though you kind of get to work out a little bit when you swim. And yeah, just do a bunch of friendly interactions and we'll get to know more people. Maybe visit the park and see if we can do some more fun stuff. Or maybe, um, I don't want you to work out right now. Um, maybe you should go to the bar. I wish we could visit all these different places because they're more decor and they're actually... Ooh, this is cute! Oh, this is lovely! <laughs> I haven't actually explored that much of this place. Okay, so let's go somewhere else and see... Um, I would like you to get something to eat. Let's go with this one. This one, Nick. <laughs> I meant Nick, I didn't mean to say this one. Oh dear. And yeah, I really feel like we are getting some progress. And I feel like it's nice to just have them get to know people. So they... Oh dear, sweetheart. This wear your clothing <laughs> and don't go around in your bikini all the day. At least he is decent enough to dress before he gets there. And I absolutely adore this room. So how about we we can make uh, we can make a salad with it. Okay. Um, let's have you take a cake. I don't really feel like you need it, but I just want you to do it. Because I'm... Why? Can't you go inside here? Take a quick meal and... Oh, you can't actually go inside here. Well, that's no fun. Uh huh. We'll make some burgers then. Uh, Wedgie burgers. Let's do that one. And I'll be. And they are talking, which is nice. Um. Oh, you need to use the bathroom. Okay. Where is the bathroom? Isn't there a bathroom here? There's a bathroom there, but wouldn't it be easier to go to... Th oh, maybe you can't actually access the bathrooms either. <laughs> well, if that's the case, we are going to have a little bit of problem. Oh, you oh you're shyly so you can play with dolls. I kind of... That's kind of adorable, though. Excuse me, Wolves. And she get playful for being childish. Oh, that's adorable. What are you doing? Why are you half naked? Okay, let's just 
Interest, interest. Um, I kind of feel like it's a little bit annoying if we can't actually go anywhere because of. Okay, let's just see if you can access this. Or I might have to figure out what to do. So it seems like. Do you need some stairs to go up there? See if this works. Go here. Oh, okay. So it's kind of strange, though. That, but maybe it's because I have too small lot or something so they I don't want you to say thank you but you're more than welcome to sit and take that portion but you just my apologies uh, for my background noise which is actually my dog so you know what oh that's adorable although I wish you kind of would I'm so sorry if you can hear my background noise. <laughs> it's kind of funny she was thinking of on the way where he sits there, kind of half nude. Kind of interesting. Well, why don't you get to know each other? Uh, probably. Uh, compliment. So we actually get to work a little bit on this relationship as well, because we obviously have to... Um, sweetie, it's kind of rude to stand with the back to the people you talk to. And they seem to be really getting along, so that's nice. Brag about family, discuss interest again, tell a story. And sweetheart, you kind of... Would you please sit down, because it's kind of annoying me that you're talking to him with your back. Damn it. Where are you going? No, you're not going to swim. Talk to your... Ooh. My apologies. I do not know why this decided to be annoying. Um, yeah, you know what? We have done something. I'm sorry if it's a little bit boring in the beginning, but we are... We are friends with Gwen, so our relationship with our cute couple is getting along nicely. We know a few people that we can invite to the wedding, and obviously I want them to have some friends over, maybe some parties or different kind of things, go on dates. And maybe go work. I think I want her to be in the science career and he to be in the doctor or the other way around. Uh, what kind of traits do you have? You have nerd. Yes, I gave her the nerd one because I wanted her to be a scientist and I wanted him to be a doctor. Although he's a little bit clumsy, I think that could be kind of cute. But we'll see. I I definitely want them to start working and get to know more people, get a bit higher relationship, and then get engaged and start having, uh, getting married and start having children. So yeah, I think this was a successful episode, and I will be fixing the park a little bit off camera if I remember. I'm probably going to forget. Just show you we can actually access the different kind of stuff because it's kind of 
sad if we can't. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I looking forward to see how this episode how this series goes and how many children we have and how, how big of a generation we have. So thank you and good night. Bye everyone.